My name is Dean Cornelius. I started Outlaw Restorations. I build rat rods and anything that's unique that's different from everyone else. I don't want something you go at the dealership and buy. They're made out of recycled parts and all the pieces are very unique. No one else has what I fix and what I build. It's made out of anything that looks like it's about to fall apart. It started out as, say, a Model A. I put pieces on it that may be from a Chevrolet. It may be from a 28, maybe 29. It's kind of like the Johnny Cash song. <laughs> it's like the Cadillac you brought home piece by piece. I've always been fascinated with vehicles. As I was growing up, my dad always took something and made it into a nice vehicle. And I thought I wanted to do this for a living back when I got out of high school, but there was, wasn't a need for it. 10 years ago, when I was going to the car shows, I would see one or two rat rods, rusty Model A's. I had all these rusty trucks, so I started building them. And then I sold one and made money, sold another one and made money, so then I started doing this. When I see a vehicle that looks like a good candidate for me to build something out of, they're all not good candidates. There's certain ones that calls to me. I have in my mind what I want to do with it before I ever do it. It's different and some people think, well, how do you do those things and how do you get those ideas? I use pieces off a printing press I used to run. That's my grill to one of my rat rods. It's different so no one will ever have one like it. And it turns out that it's just enough to give it that rat rod touch. When I go and see a vehicle, I'll ask the owner, can I get it on my trailer? That's all it takes. If I can get it on my trailer in one piece, I bring it to my shop and I save up all the pieces until I get enough to where I think this is ready to put it together. And then I put it together and it turns out that it looks like something out of Mad Max. <laughs> a lot of people don't envision any of that stuff. <laughs> but somehow or another, I make it work. It usually takes me from anywhere from a month to six months, and it depends on how in depth that I go with it. If it's more complicated, has more stuff, it'll take a year. It's like this one, this one's been in here for quite a while. When I, a person asks me about building a rat rod, if I have one, and they'll say, can I change this or could I change that? And I'll say, I'm not sure you know what you want. <laughs> because sometimes I think it'll be a good fit. But most of the time, I just build it the way I want to. <laughs> a rat rod is not necessarily to go screaming down the road like a Formula One race car or dragster. It's just a tool around real slow and show up and drag the ground and leave sparks and maybe leave a park laying behind. <laughs> if it's rusty, you don't want to put anything on the outside. I prefer leaving them just rust, bare rust. But if you wanted to make it shiny, if you just have to make it shiny, you can put linseed oil on it. And that'll protect the, the metal from rusting any further. But the more it rusts, the better it looks to me. <laughs> All of the vehicles that, that I build are street legal. They have a title, they're fully licensed, insured. All it is is you may need a technic shot to drive one of them around, but they're just like driving any other vehicle. <laughs>